Dimzi 67 Agogaming is now live. Streaming Hogwarts Legacy, Hogwarts Legacy 5th Play Agogaming. It's about to go down flushed face fire. Mon magic wand. Meet here I come. Do 
let me know when you've had a chance to visit Dot. I wouldn't say my one will be Abandoned long ago, no doubt. It seems we may have... You made a mistake! Ah, up at Hogsfield. Now where to find Mrs. Sprottle? Shane Bardolph thought dark magic was the answer. I reckon Rookwood's played a hand in his disappearance. Excuse me, did you say something about Bardolph Beaumont? I did. I don't think we've met. I'm Dorothy Sprottle. I was just worrying about Claire Beaumont's brother Bardolph. Only he's gone missing. Rumor is he was seen in the forest practicing dark magic. Saw him myself near some ruins with Rookwood's lot I did. I fear he got himself into trouble with the Ashwinders, especially if he made them a promise he couldn't keep. I'd help search for him myself, but no one will risk encountering Ranrock's loyalists. They seem to be everywhere. Why would Bardolph want to get involved with the Ashwinders? Oh, he had a terrible run-in with Ranrock's loyalists. Changed him. He vowed never to feel powerless again. I think he sought the Ashwinders out to learn their secrets. Victor Rockwood, at least, seems somehow immune to Ranrock's loyalists. Do you think Bardolph may have simply run off? No. Bardolph's run that shop with Claire his entire life. He'd not give it up for anything. He swore he'd be back in a fortnight. My instincts are that he's been held captive or worse. I can certainly look out for him. Any help would be appreciated. You might speak to Claire first. Perhaps she has some insights that I don't. I can tell you that Bardolph was last seen in the forest wearing a particular woolen jumper, one that Claire knitted herself. Claire will be at her shop if you'd like to speak with her. Now don't be doing that. I should investigate. we 
ready. This game looks dope eyes tick button. I'm serious, I would jump up. Ah, Upper Hogsfield. Now where to find Mrs. Sprottle? Oh, I do hope my brother is all right. I couldn't help but overhear. Did you mention Ranrock's loyalists? I did. <sighs> Never imagined they'd act this deadly. I'm Claire Beaumont, by the way. Nice to meet you. 
Ranrock and his followers have set up camp here. No regard for our beloved Hamlet or our livelihoods. Ruthless. My brother Baldov dared to stand up to them and ended up in St. Mungo's. I'm simply at my wit's end. How did your brother Baldov end up in St. Mungo's? <sighs> Baldov had spent the entire day hand-picking herbs and roots for us. When a group of Ranrock's lot appeared and demanded the harvest for themselves, Baldolf refused. In their anger, they held him against the rock and robbed him. The moment he left St. Mungo's, he vowed revenge. I worry he may be dabbling in magic that he will one day regret. You said Ranrock's loyalists have set up camp here. Where, precisely? To the south, across the river. Last I heard, there were several loyalists in each camp. I won't go near them. Why don't you simply leave the area for now? Upper Hogsfield is my home. Baldolf and I grew up here. No, we are standing firm. Once my brother returns, then we shall decide what to do next. He's gone to seek Victor Rookwood's advice. I didn't approve of that idea. But perhaps in the end, it will help. I'm unfortunately quite familiar with Ranrock's loyalists. Perhaps I can do something. <sighs> Much as I would love to be rid of them, I wouldn't want you to risk injury, or worse. Please be cautious. We should not have to live in fear. This is our home. Oh, I do hope my brother is all right. Don't be stingy. It seems as though things are getting worse. Best be on my guard. Madame Beaumont described. for you to learn the error. One camp down, one more to go. How nice of you to stop by. Expelliarmus! Please! 
Furiosa. Just you wait till I'm on solid ground. Rigo. Gracious. Expelliarmus. Gracious. Leviosa. You don't know who you're playing with. Good for you. Yeah. Who the old man is with? Let's extract him. Both camps cleared. Hey, lad. Ah, Upper Hogsfield. Now, where to find Mrs. Sprottle? I do miss the bustle of business. Poor customers, afraid to venture out. Madame Beaumont, I believe I have some news of your brother. Radolf? What do you know of my brother? I'm afraid he's joined the Ashwinders and has no interest in returning. But what No, no, this can't be. He was seeking their advice, that's all. I'm truly sorry. I wish it had been better news. I wish you well, Madame Bond. <laughs> what more could I have done? <laughs> oh, bad off. Bad off. My dear, dear brother. I do miss the bustle of business. I could use some Poor pearls. customers, afraid to venture out. Hello, Madame Beaumont. Good news. I was able to clear out Ranrock's camps. You cleared them out? How? I managed to catch them off guard. Oh, 
I wish my brother could have done what you did. Perhaps he'd still be with me now. I'm especially grateful. You did for Badolf what I could not. You saved our hamlet, my young friend. This will not be forgotten. I fear for other hamlets, truly. Ranrock and his lot are unlike any goblins I've ever seen. What do you have for sale? What are you looking for exactly? Thank you. Sincerely. like that a fine choice Forgive myself. I don't think Mr. Pemberton meant to use his own stationery. He knows something about those demigod's moons. He's in Hogsmeade, apparently. Perhaps I shall pay him a visit. Stingy. 
I could use some gold. New instruments are expensive, you know. I can't imagine how inconvenient travel was before I invented flu powder. Revelio. It's like a place right out of a storybook. You made it. Enjoying the view? Keeping an eye on things. Feldcroft isn't what it used to be. No one has felt safe here since Ranrock's loyalists took a peculiar interest in that castle over there. Rookwood Castle. My uncle Solomon is a former Aura and refuses to look into it, even after Anne was cursed by one of them. Possibly with a wand, no less. I heard a goblin refer to wizard kind as wand carriers. Are goblins forbidden from carrying wands? Precisely. That's why I'm on the hunt for answers. If I'm to cure her, I need to understand what happened to her. Anne was always the most mischievous of the three of us. Which is saying something, knowing me and Ominous. I'm hoping a surprise visit from me and a new friend from Hogwarts will help lift her spirits. Bring back the Anne I used to know. Come on. I'll take you to my uncle's. This way. Feldcroft used to be a lot livelier. With Ranrock's lot wandering about all the time, everyone stays out of sight.
Here we are. My sister should be just inside. Aha! Sebastian, where did you... Is that what I think it is? We've been over this, boy. Hey. Shrivel figs cannot reverse a curse. Nothing can. The sooner you accept that reality, the better. But we haven't tried everything. There is no cure! When will you accept that? Never! I can never accept it. <laughs> now look what you've done. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry you had to see that. If you don't mind, I just need a moment alone. Poor Sebastian. Not the visit he'd hoped for. That boy will fray my last nerve. Excuse me, Mr. Sallow. Oh, yes, Sebastian's friend. I apologize on behalf of my nephew. He doesn't know when to stop. He thinks he can help Anne, oh, but nothing can be done for her. It could be that you've not yet discovered the cure. Ah, you sound like Sebastian, thinking you know better than the healers at St. Mungo's. Perhaps the healers don't know everything, sir. Sebastian is single-mindedly focused on finding a way to help his sister. If there is a cure, he will find it. Your faith in Sebastian is misplaced. Some sort of dark magic cursed Anne, and the goblins aren't likely to explain themselves any time soon. Giving her hope is cruel. The only thing to do now is keep Anne comfortable and stay out of the Loyalists' way. I understand what you're saying, sir. Good. I know what's best for Anne and Sebastian. They are my stubborn brother's children. Especially Sebastian. If you really want to be of help, you'll make sure Sebastian does what he should do, not what he wants to do. He's no idea the harm he could do if he doesn't stop. I hope you'll remember what I've said. Good day. Sorry about earlier. Those bouts of pain are difficult to bear. Are you all right, Anne? I, I didn't mean to intrude. You didn't, truly. <sighs> and I'm all right. The pain from this curse comes in bouts, and often suddenly. It's not anyone's fault. It's nice to meet you, by the way. You must be the new fifth year Sebastian told me about. I am. Sebastian and I met on my first day at Hogwarts, in the Slytherin common room. Oh, the common room. I adored teasing first years about spotting mermaids through the window. I do miss Hogwarts, but I wouldn't mind being in Feldcroft, really, if it wasn't so dreary now. Between the goblins at the castle and my uncle fighting with Sebastian whenever he's home, it's not the cosy retreat it once was. Sebastian mentioned something about your uncle being an ex-Aura, but refusing to go after Ranrock's loyalists. I must say, I wasn't prepared for him to be as angry as he was. Uncle Solomon is frustrated by what happened to me, and by Sebastian for thinking he can fix it. They both mean well, I know they do, but my uncle is right. This curse cannot be undone. I can feel it. Sebastian cannot take away my pain. Perhaps you can help him to understand that. I'm afraid it's really up to Sebastian, and his mind seems to be made up. I can only hope he realizes the futility of his search for a cure soon. I'm getting tired. I should probably rest. Thank you for stopping by. I wish you well. I ought to see how Sebastian's faring.
Revelio. Rebellion. Why will he not listen to me? She's my sister. How are you doing, Sebastian? You got a first-hand glance of what I'm dealing with. I apologize for my uncle. I know he's angry, but he's only trying to do what he thinks is best for Anne. He's always angry. He's been angry since my parents died. After Anne was hurt, he only grew worse. It's as though he blames me somehow, always calling me my father's son, as if that's an insult. I'm the one trying to help her. He's simply given up. Both Anne and your uncle seem genuinely convinced that nothing more can be done for her. I refuse to believe that. Anne's pain is more than physical. It has changed her entirely. I miss my sister. And I'm going to get her back. Come with me. I need to show you where it happened. Ranrock's loyalists are capable of so much more than people realize. They should not be underestimated. All the debris you'll see is from whatever's going on at that abandoned estate. They've been digging for something. Up there, on that plateau, is where they cursed Anne. This way. How much longer are we expected to dig through this rubble? Ramrock knows what he's doing. It's an honor to be a part of it. It won't be long now. Hey, I worry. Please. I'll get you for that. You don't know who you're playing. 
Your last mistake. One less human to worry about. Let me go. Please, please. Expel it. Spell casting. Good freak. Almost. Let me go. Do you think this is funny? Please. Expel it. Rather unwise coming back this way. Let's get this out. Expelliarmus! Don't do that again, I beg you! Good ball, I can't! Oh. Expelliarmus! Oh. Let me go. You are a 
I confess, that was a bit more than I'd bargained for. I tried to warn you. Revelio. Those loyalists deserved what they got. Couldn't agree more. This is where it happened. We smelled smoke in the middle of the night. When we looked outside, flames were shooting from the estate. Before my uncle and I could stop her, Anne rushed out, racing towards the fire. Worried someone would be hurt. She came face to face with a horde of goblins, frantically trying to stamp out the flames. Suddenly, an icy voice drifted out from somewhere in the smoke. Children should be seen and not heard. A blinding blast followed. They didn't even give her a chance to run. It seems an awfully violent response to a child wandering by. What were they trying to hide? My thoughts exactly. It may be grasping at Billywigs, but I keep thinking that there might be something here that could lead me to whoever cursed Anne. Might be the only way to learn what type of magic harmed her, which could help me find a cure. Perhaps you're right. The Loyalists are everywhere, but they do seem to be spending a lot of time here, and it's likely they're hiding something. And at Rookwood Castle. Shall we have a look around? They seem to have set up camp here for a specific reason. They have stations for everything. Whose home was this? Been abandoned long since I've lived here. Rumor was a Hogwarts professor lived here once, centuries ago. But that's all I ever heard. Rebellion. I've heard that 
goblin dig sites like these are popping up everywhere. Hmm. It's a wonder the Ministry isn't doing more. Always armed and ready for a fight, Ranrock's loyalists. It might be worth taking a closer look at the house itself. Revelio. This well looks familiar. Sebastian, I've seen this before. This house, the well, the view. What do you mean? When? Give me a moment. I'll explain in a second. Sebastian, over here. Do you think that this was damaged by the fire the night that Anne was cursed? Could be. But it looks to me as though this was intentional. Sebastian, this house did belong to a Hogwarts professor hundreds of years ago. Who? What do you- I found a pensive that day in the restricted section with a memory that showed this house. There was a little girl and a drought. The Keepers have shown me other memories as well. The girl became a Hogwarts professor. Her name was Isadora Morganark. She was one of the Keepers. The Keepers? Like in Quidditch? And you found a pensive in the library? I'm not following you. I realize it's a lot to take in. I'm not even sure I understand it all yet. And no, not like Quidditch. They call themselves Keepers because they're protecting some type of knowledge. It has to do with the vault at Gringotts. Let me see if I've got this straight. You have Ranrock and Rookwood after you because of something you found at Gringotts where you ended up via a port key. You can see traces of an ancient magic that you think Ranrock is trying to harness. And now you've been witnessing memories left by Keepers. Oh, and this house belonged to a Hogwarts professor who was one of these non-Quidditch keepers hundreds of years ago. If I didn't know you, I'd think you were pulling my leg. It is all a bit much, isn't it, when you put it like that? The point is, we both have good reason to search this house. You for answers about what happened to Anne, and me for answers about the keepers. Look at this. Someone piled this here for a reason. Is it blocking something? Only one way to find out. Levioso! Cavolso! Huh, a stairwell. Revelio. Why bother blocking a stairwell? There might be something here worth a closer look. They've left all of this simply strewn about. Tells me they're after something bigger. Seems these journal entries are from Isadora's travels. A journal entry of his adorers. I should hold on to this. Oh. You're not going to believe this. I can see the Undercroft. What? A daydream? Because that happens to me too.
Revelio. I know it sounds strange, but... Honestly, I... nothing you say sounds strange to me anymore. Fair enough. I can see the Undercroft through this stone wall as though it's a window. This has happened before. I'm listening. I think it's to do with my ability to see traces of ancient magic. But you said you didn't really understand it, and that you couldn't wield it. That's true, and I'm still not sure what it all means. What I do know is that my ability allows me to travel through these windows I see. Wait. We can get straight to the Undercroft from here. <laughs> Ominous will be flawed. We can. But perhaps best not to tell anyone else about this for now. Even Ominous. Understood. Well then, invisible secret ancient magic passageway, here we come. I'm tempted to hold my breath. Why would the door lead us here? Sebastian, look. Why hide a triptych here? Seems as if something's missing. A note. Let's have a look. Anything helpful in the note? A rune symbol. I've seen similar symbols used by the keepers. I've been thinking. A keeper lived in that house centuries ago, and Ranrock and his lot have been searching there. You said that goblins may be wielding some form of this ancient magic. Do you think Anne was cursed by ancient magic? I can't be sure, of course, but I don't think so. I didn't see any traces of it around your sister. Hmm. Very well. But that doesn't mean it's not ancient magic. There's still so much we don't know about it. True. Perhaps this triptych will lead us to answers. Then we'll have to unravel what this all means. But now I need to see Ominous. Don't worry, I won't tell him anything. Did I mention that, apparently, Salazar Slytherin had a secret scriptorium here, in Hogwarts? You did not? Is it connected to our common room? No idea. Ominous just learned of it. I'll let you know what I find out. I had no idea our visit to Sian would unfold into all of this. My head's an utter mess. But I'm glad you told me everything you did. I'll be in touch. Till then. Yes. Rebellion. Rebellion. Never forget what that awful puff girl said in 1420.
Ravelli. Yo, bro. Wonderful. So how one will never believe this?
I've collected some magical materials, Deke. Now Deke can show you how to use them. First, you'll need to use this spellcraft to conjure an enchanted loom. An enchanted loom? Exactly. It will allow you to use your magical materials to weave magic into the very threads of your clothing, making your clothing more useful in a variety of ways. Why don't you try it? Deke thinks you'll be impressed with what the loom can do. I'll go and experiment with the loom now. Rebellion. Came out nicely. I should show Deke. I used the enchanted loom, Deke. Wonderful. 
Will I be able to weave even more powerful magic into my clothing with the loom? You will, by rescuing even more powerful beasts. For now, however, Deed suggests you explore the vivarium and get to know the beasts you've already rescued. Can I use the loom to enhance any item of clothing? The loom will only enhance clothing of a certain quality. Deke suspects you'll find more valuable clothing as you explore. Deke also knows that some of the shops in Hogsmeade can provide you with a variety of clothing for you to enhance. Thank you for your help, Deke. Levioso. Revelio. Rebellion. Tracy. Good friend. Expelliarmus. Levioso. Rebellion. Lumos. Expelliarmus. <sighs> Revelio. Accio. Handy resource indeed.
Revelio. How much is this lad? And your reading is the dragon. That's exciting, I suppose. Perhaps you're due for an adventure. Ladies? Professor Shah. Astronomy is not divination. You won't find the mysteries of the cosmos charted out on your palms or at the bottom of your teacups. Alas, the heavens remain hazy to the starry-eyed. Now, if you were to devote yourselves to persistent and painstaking observation, you just might catch a glimpse. With that in mind, please take your telescopes. Tonight, we will be on the observation deck. Still don't have your own? You can't be the new student forever, you know. You can share with Mr. Takar. Here, I can adjust that for no, you. No, no, bring it into focus on your own. Now, I expect all of you to put in your stargazing hours outside of class. Is that clear? But, Professor, it's freezing out. Mere cold didn't stop the great stargazers of the past. Look only to the astronomy tables they erected throughout the highlands from which they gazed millennia ago on the very selfsame stars above us. Is that clear? <sighs> Dismissed. Hello. I don't believe we've met officially. I'm Amit. I'm something of an astronomy buff. Hello, Amit. It's nice to meet you. Did I hear Professor Shaw say that you don't have your own telescope? I have a spare one you could borrow for the rest of term. That's very kind of you, Amit. Are you sure you won't need it? I'm certain. It's my old one. I finally got my hands on the new Celestia Contemplor. You've heard of it, I assume? I mean, of course you have. It's only the pinnacle of all personal stargazing implements. But my old model's not too shabby either. Goblin cut glass, first-rate optical enchantments. Hate to think such a fine instrument is just collecting dust. Well, I... I thank you, Amit. Think nothing of it. Anyway, the telescope's in the storage room right underneath us. You can't miss it. I have some, uh, reading to finish on the lower deck. Come find me there afterwards and bring the telescope. There's something I want to talk to you about. I'm trying to put off my stargazing as long as I could. Armit, where did you say that telescope was? Sitting in the storage room beneath the top deck, look for the smaller set of stairs on the main observation deck. Thank you. Of course. Hurry back once you've found it. The perfect night for... Oh, hello again.
Professor Shah is just about as cold and distant as the bloody stars she wants us to chart. <sighs> Not how I wanted to spend my evening. This was his old telescope. <laughs> Looks practically brand new. Expelliarmus! Confringo! Rebellion! Ah, a pristine night for stargazing. Professor Shah, I'm interested in learning more about astronomy. It is increasingly rare to find a student who seeks after things celestial of their own accord. But if you truly desire to chart the courses of the cosmos, you must rid your mind of the terrestrial babble of others. We ourselves are not unlike blank star charts, you know? Empty canvases waiting to be inscribed with all that the universe has to offer. Do you understand? Am I right in thinking you are unimpressed by divination? Of the many other so-called disciplines taught here, divination is perhaps the most feeble, especially in its nonsensical practice of astrology. Do not confuse astronomy and astrology. One is concerned with mysteries stellar and lunar, the other is mere lunacy. You mentioned astronomy tables earlier, in class. What were you talking about? Long ago, devotees of the astral arts set up stone slabs across the countryside. They are ideal for studying constellations near and far. For centuries, wizards made use of these astronomy tables for stargazing. Sadly, they have since become mere monuments to the intrepid intellectual pursuits of a bygone epoch. Thank you, Professor. I look forward to stargazing. I am glad to hear it. Should be a stellar night for it. The perfect night for... Oh, Revelio. hello again. I have the telescope. It's nicer than I'd expected. I would not offer a prospective stargazer a third-rate lunoscope. <laughs> But there is, um, something else. Yes, what is it? You remember those astronomy tables Shaw was going on about? It just so happens I've been reading up on them a little myself. And it seems there may be one right here at Hogwarts. I believe we could use it to find hidden constellations. Ah, I had a feeling there would be a catch to that telescope. No, no. I, I certainly wasn't trying to bribe you or anything. But are you in? No one from the Gobstones Club will go with me. Said they'd rather get spit at by a stone than... Well, they are cowards. Let us get moving while the stars are still out. I'll show you how to use that telescope once we get there. I promise. All right. I suppose I can go with you. I hope it's worth it. It will be. Trust me, I have read practically everything there is to read about this. It should be brilliant. Shall we? The table is on a castle wall ahead. Look for a stone platform. Something that doesn't quite belong. We'll know it when we see it. Onwards we go. Some say the locations of the tables were originally marked by centaurs for ritual stargazing. Huh. It is nice having a fellow stargazer to explore with. Happy to be here. It is good to leave the classroom now and then. It's not that creepy out here at night, is it? The Gobstones Club are cowards. Here I am. Charging ahead. Uh, why don't you lead the way? If you're sure. Rebellion. Hmm. A little foreboding. A few copper beads and dust. Nothing to be concerned about. Oh, of course. It's just not as uh, tidy as I expected. Armit, could I ask you something? Oh, um, certainly.
Where precisely is the table we're looking for? According to an old astronomer's chronicle I found in the library, it may be somewhere along the castle wall. Why are you so fascinated with stars? I suppose because there is so much to learn about them. I mean, there is plenty to learn about a lot of subjects, but astronomy seems limitless. Always something new being discovered. They are forever discovering new moons and stars. In fact, they discovered a new planet just 50 years ago. Actually, that's all I wanted to know. Oh, very well then. Rebellion. Let me say. Accio. Rebellion. Expelliarmus. Confringo. More cobwebs. You don't think any spiders might be lurking about? Oh no. Not this close to school, I mean. Rebellion. Go on, try it out. The constellation should appear near the center of your view. As soon as you've lined up the telescope, we will be able to fill out our star chart. Stargazing is all about patience and precision. I was right about the tables. They really are gateways to the far stars, just as the book said. And your contribution was invaluable. Rest assured, you shall be credited in my memoirs one day. Thank you, Amit. I look forward to reading them. And I look forward to writing them. <laughs> this is only the beginning. You will find more tables like this one throughout the grounds and forest, all beckoning to be discovered by a worthy astronomer. And if I have ever seen one, it's you. Oh, and about my old telescope. Don't bother returning it. You should keep it. That's quite generous. Thank you. You are welcome. It has goblin cut glass and a gobbledygook inscription. I'm practically fluent in gobbledygook, you know. It's all in the throat, really, gobbledygook, you know, and, and how you pronounce your R's. Ahem. Um, anyway, glad our adventure was a success. I will see you soon. Rebellio. Does it get any more cozy than Hogsmeade? Hey, Chris. Those statues took time and effort. Hello, Hamora.
Rebellion. Pardon me, sir, but about those curious demigod statues I've seen. What? Who are you? Why do you ask? They're causing Mr. Moon terrible distress. Ha! Good. That was the idea. So you did create them? I... Uh, yes, I did. It was a ploy to give that pathetic oaf Moon a taste of the grief he caused me years ago. You are the one who's been pilfering them. I am, at the request of Mr. Moon. I received your owl on your stationery. <clears throat> ah, well, fitting Moon would enlist a student, too cowardly to do it himself, <laughs> hasn't changed a bit. Even when we were at school, he was a cowardly bully. Gave me a horrible nickname, which I shan't repeat. I was thrilled when we left school and he seemed gone for good. Then I started seeing him around Hogsmeade. It was too much. Even if I do take satisfaction in that his life's destiny was to be a lowly caretaker. Mr. Moon does a good deal for the school, and he's taught me a lot. He's terrified of those statues. <laughs> I know. You should have seen his face when that boggart appeared. Oh, priceless. That's when I knew what I needed to do. I simply didn't want to encounter him anymore. So I shrewdly put a boggart in his path to learn his greatest fear. I then created the demiguy statues to keep him in his place, so to speak. The moons were inspired play on his name. It worked brilliantly, until you started clearing them out. The statues are a form of bullying. You're no better than him. Perhaps it's time you both moved on. Ah, fair point, I suppose. If they've terrified him, as you say, he may have learned his lesson. Mr. Moon, I've learned who's behind the demiguy statues. It was a classmate of yours that you bullied, Piers Pemberton. Oh, am I a known? Pigtails Piers! I don't think he likes being called that. Of course he does. Oh, we had such flowing locks. Oh, we used to laugh about them. <laughs> I laugh the hardest of all. Clever, clever man. Hmm. I'd no idea he was so devious. <laughs> I must go and congratulate him. Whatever statues remain seem less terrifying now that I know they were put out by old pigtails. Continue collecting them if you like. As for me, I'm gonna go and pay a visit to my old friend.
off on another adventure, are we? Rebellion. Beginner's luck, I say. You'll not beat me next time. I hope those assignments were challenging enough for you. I've completed all of my tasks, Professor Onai. Very well done. Although I must admit, I did have something of a premonition that you would follow through. Now, as you have no doubt sharpened your perception by completing my assignment, I am curious, based upon the knowledge that one's present and even one's past may reveal traces of what is to come, what do you see in your own future? There will be hardship, I'm sure of it. But I see triumph in the end. A measured perception. Very wise. Nothing worthwhile is ever easy. And that is why such futures are worth striving for. But this talk of tomorrow should not divert us from your present success. I shall inform our good deputy headmistress of your exemplary performance. And if that performance is any omen of what your future may hold, then I, for one, see great things. Channel your magic towards your targets. You have it. Now, why not practice the new spell on the training dummy? Rebellion. Descendant. Excellent. I think you have it. <laughs> Professor, do you have a moment? I do. I was wondering how you decided to teach divination. Ah, the art of divination is an important yet often misunderstood branch of magic. Those of us who possess the sight are rare. And, as is often the case with the unique among us, we can frequently be misread, even feared. 
when I was granted the opportunity to teach others about my gift and the good it can do. I was most grateful. I see. Natty told me that you and she moved here from Uganda, where she had attended Wagadu. Yes. Natsai and I both loved Uganda and Wagadu, but we are happily settled here now. I had foreseen such a change, but did not know the details until it occurred. I was glad of the outcome. You would be wise to remember that the consequences of our actions are complex. And so, divining what is to come is not as simple as gazing into a crystal ball or studying the bottom of a teacup. I find it truly intriguing, even if I don't fully understand it. <laughs> intriguing. That is one word for it. And I'm certain you will come to understand many things more deeply in the days ahead. You are a student at Hogwarts, after all. It cannot have escaped you that we in the Wizarding world are forever navigating the seemingly inexplicable. Of course, Professor. Now, I know that we both have places to be. Not because I have the sight, mind you, but because I am a professor and you are a student. I have enjoyed our conversation. Revelio. At some point, you must stop preparing and put your newly honed skills to the test outside of the classroom. I've always said that travel It's me, Gareth. Do you have a moment? Why do the students always frown? They've just burned the castle down. Anything to do with the dark art should be avoided. It's too risky. Anything to do with Salazar Slytherin is worth the risk. I can't agree. And I'll not say a word more. I'm sorry. I won't give up. What were you and Ominous speaking about? He's being ridiculous. Apparently Salazar Slytherin had a secret scriptorium here in Hogwarts. Ominous swears it was used for the Dark Arts, so he wants nothing to do with it. I reminded him that Anne needs a cure. This scriptorium could hold the answers we need. The Dark Arts do pique my interest. There's more to dark magic than people realize. The Gaunts know this, better than most. Perhaps I've spoken out of turn. Ominous's family history is personal to him. I'd like to know more about it, if you wouldn't mind telling me. I won't repeat it. Very well. But do keep this between us. Ominous learned dark magic from his parents. Are you familiar with the Cruciatus Curse?
What does the Cruciatus Curse do? It's known as the Torture Curse, Crucio. It inflicts intense, excruciating pain on the victim. Apparently, his parents and older siblings had no qualms about casting it on muggles for sport. Ominous described the sound of the victim's cries as horrific, so the first time he was asked to cast it himself as a child, he couldn't bring himself to do it. As punishment, his family cast it on him. The anguish was so bad that when asked to cast it again, he relented. I have repeatedly assured Ominous that he did what he had to, but he still hasn't forgiven himself. How horrible. Poor Ominous. He was only a child. He shouldn't blame himself. After that incident, the rift between Ominous and his family only grew. That is until I came along. Every moment he isn't at Hogwarts, he's with us in Feldcroft. Ominous trusts me. And more often than not, he winds up listening to me. I'll remind him of that when I follow up about the Scriptorium. Watch for my owl. I'll have news soon enough. I'll make Ominous understand. He'll change his mind. Revelio. Thank you everyone for joining, hope you're having a good day today. Revelio.
Not sure. Ah, up at Hogsfield. Now where to find Mrs. Brottle? You can't imagine how inconvenient travel was before I invented the loop. Nice to see you again, Mrs. Brottle. Actually, Serona Ryan asked if I'd come and see you. Oh, dear Serona, a gem has been for as long as I've known her. She thought you might need help collecting ingredients for your Wigan World potion. And she's correct. My darling Aiden used to collect hawk lumps for me. Since he died, my supply has dwindled. I'm sorry for your loss, Mrs. Brottle. Oh, thank you. Love of my life. A bit lost without him. If you wouldn't mind gathering some hawk lumps for me, I'd be happy to compensate you for your time. Believe it or not, I have some with me. Oh, thank you. How wonderful. The traveling vendors will be thrilled to replenish their stock of Wigan Weld Potion. Serona also mentioned that Mr. Sprottle was bringing her a box of letters when he fell ill. Indeed he was. I'd almost forgotten. I stumbled upon it just before Aiden died. He was hoping to go through it with Serona over a butterbeer or two. Uh, those two were always like two bow truckles in a branch. Aidan took ill when he was collecting hawk clumps on his way to see her. He made it home, but I fear he dropped the box in the cavern. The cavern is in the hills just southwest of our hamlet. You can gather hawk clumps and collect the box of letters there. Serona said she lived with you during the summers when she was at Hogwarts. What was she like? Oh, uh, goodness. Well, she was almost exactly like she is now. Charming, good head on her shoulders, taking care of everyone. I can't tell you the fun we had when she and her friends would visit us during the year, all buzzing about practicing charms. Talented group. Her friend Mirabelle was a genius in the garden. Learned it all from her muggle parents, if you can believe it. 
Do you remember anything about the letters you put in the box? Oh, of course. A few letters from some of her school friends. Some nice memories. I even included a letter Serona had written to me when she was staying with us. Thought she might enjoy reading it. I know when I read writing from my youth, I'm always astonished at how much I've changed, and yet remain the same. Thank you, Mrs. Brottle. Thank you. I'll be here if you are able to collect those hawk lumps. I, and the vendors I help, would greatly appreciate it. Rebellion. Oh, no, you don't. There, there. I'm not going to hurt you. Rebellion. These rocks have seen better days. Expelliarmus! Con 
Bring them. safer now. Rebellion. This place has seen better days. This must be the cavern Mrs. Sprottle mentioned. Rebellion. Leave the hawk clumps to Mrs. Sprottle, but I still need to visit the cave to find. Let's have a look around, see if I can find that box of letters. Expelliarmus! Confringo! That's all the hall clumps for now. Mrs. Sprottle should be pleased.
This is almost too easy. No. You're the little sod that saved Treadwell. I shall get that goblin helm back. King Gringo! Expelliarmus! Protego! Leviosa! The beasts around here can sleep a bit easier now. Better have a look around. See about the hawk clumps and the box of letters. Confringo! That's all the hawk clumps for now. Mrs. Sprottle should be pleased. Either I'll have to fight that troll, or avoid it altogether. Kinfrigo! Expelliarmus! Protego!
That's all the hawk lumps for now. Mrs. Sprottle should be pleased. Hmm. Either I'll have to fight that troll. Either I'll have to fight that troll, or avoid it altogether. That's all the hawk lumps for now. Mrs. Sprottle should be pleased. Let's have a look around, see if I can find that box of letters. That's all the hawk lumps for now. Mrs. Sprottle should be pleased. Hmm. Either I'll have to fight that troll, or avoid it altogether.
I think that's everything. Sorona will be... I should take this box of letters to Sorona. She'll be glad to have it back. What you did? Ha! I have no tolerance for thieves. Hand them back. Hand what back, sir? We've not took a thing. Hand them back. There's nothing to give, sir. It was only the one. Uh, that's all of them, sir. Hello, Sorona. I have good news. I was able to provide your friend Mrs. Sprottle with some hawk clumps for her Wigamel potion, and I found your box of letters. Oh, thank you. I knew you were the one to ask. I'm glad I could be of help. Mrs. Sprottle sends her best. Don't know what I'd have done without her and Aiden. Thank you, again, for helping her, and for returning this box of letters. It's nice to reflect on good memories. Thank you. 
Sometimes it seems all roads lead to Hogsmeade. <laughs> Adelaide Oaks, isn't it? I received your owl. Yes, I'm Adelaide Oaks. Oh dear. You see, my uncle Roland is a metal trader who's quite well known in the goblin community. He normally sends me owls every week when he's on his business travels. In his last owl, he alluded to dealings with those radical goblins, Ranrock's loyalists. It's been ages since that owl and I'm worried. What with the troll attack on Hogsmeade and the rumors that goblins may have been involved, well, I'm fearing the worst. Should I be worried about my uncle, or am I overthinking this? I think you're right to be concerned, Adelaide. Your uncle may be in trouble. You're much more understanding than Professor Weasley. She heard I was going to look for him and forbade me from leaving the grounds. She's convinced he can handle himself, but I can't concentrate on anything until I know he's all right. I... Ugh. Could you try to find out for me? From what I hear, you're almost as adventurous as Uncle Roland. Has your uncle traded with many goblins? Yes, for ages. Even speaks gobbledygook. But he only recently mentioned... Ranrock's lot. Insisting the galleons were worth the risk. He does it for me. Between robes and supplies, attending Hogwarts costs a fair sickle. And besides that, Uncle Roland has expensive taste. He's sacrificed so much for me over the years. I promised him that as soon as I finish Hogwarts, I shall be the one taking care of him. I'll try and look into it for you, Adelaide. Thank you. He's very thorough in his record keeping. Notes all his trades in a journal, makes maps. In fact, in his last owl, he drew me a map of his next stop. He planned to set up camp north of here. I do hope you're able to find out where he is. Thank you again for any help you can provide. I hope Adelaide mentioned her uncle's camp, maybe near. Is everything all right? Oh, hello. Thank you for asking. I'm Cressida, by the way, and I'm afraid everything's not all right. I may be in a spot of trouble with the librarian. You see, I'm fond of creating my own charms, 
Thought I'd perfected my light as a feather charm to use on my library books. My arms get so tired carrying them around all day. But I must have confused the Latin word for feather with bird in my incantation, because when I opened my bag just now in the library, they literally took flight. That sounds a rather complicated way to simply avoid carrying your books. Possibly. But where's the fun in simplicity? New charms and spells have to come from someone. Why not me? I collect the books and remove the charm myself. Except this isn't the first time one of my charms has threatened the peace of the library. Our meat told Madame Scribner they were my books flying around. So she said that if I caused her any more trouble, she'd write to my parents. Perhaps you could get them for me. There are only five. She won't be suspicious of a new student looking around. Why did Army tell Madame Scribner that they were your books? Oh, to be perfectly honest, I don't think he meant any harm. I think he was impressed, bragging on my behalf. Amit spends a lot of time gazing at the stars, but he knows a good charm when he sees one. I suppose I could help, if I have the time. Oh, I'd very much appreciate it. One of the books is my diary. I'd rather it not fall into the wrong hands. If you could collect them and bring them to me, I can remove the charm. I'm going to have to use Akio to get through the books. Revelio. Devolta. Revelio. Akio. Got it. Only four more to go.
Rebellion. Accio. Rebellion. Accio. This must be Cressida's diary. I'd want this back too if I were her. Rebellion. Rebellion. Accio. Rebellion. Rebellion. Accio. Rebellion. Reading can be as magical as any spell. Why can't students see that? That's the last book. Now to take them back to Cressida. Hello, Cressida. I collected your books, including your diary. Oh, what a relief. Thank you. I'll happily take the heavy lot off your hands now. Unless you want your classmates to know how you really feel about them, you might reward me for my time. Oh, you're not at all who I thought you to be. And you're not who I thought you to be. Based upon your diary, you seem terribly judgmental. Fine. I shall pay you. But you cannot begin to imagine what I shall be writing about you next. Should never have trusted them.
seen you in Herbology. You're a conqueror. Seems a pleasant enough little place. There we go. That's it.
Welcome back. Have you finished? Reporting back, Professor. Assignments all finished. Well done. Shows good discipline. Wisdom is a golden snitch, as they say. And you're proving a skilled seeker in that regard. Let us practice our restore momentum. A charm, incidentally, created to stop quaffles from plummeting straight to the ground during a Quidditch match. Precise, deliberate movements. Very good. I recommend practicing your new spell as much as possible. Perhaps before you leave here. Revelio. That's it. Keep it up. Well done. You are on your way to mastering Arresto Momentum. Revelio. Professor, do you have a moment? Yes, what is it? In class, I heard you mention the Toyohashi Quidditch team. I did. The Toyohashi Tengu are from Japan. Dominant, known for their rigorous training. They practice near the Mahutokoro School of Magic, often battling both tempestuous seas and violent storms in addition to each other. Tournament play is almost always easier for the Tengu than their training sessions. I take it you're a fan. Fan? <laughs> I was being groomed to play on their team. And I would have been a Tengu, if not for a bit of bad luck. If you were that good, I can't believe a bit of bad luck could end your entire Quidditch career. I was excellent. My ability on a broom had nothing to do with what happened. I was betrayed by someone I trusted. Myself. I did not see clearly and I paid a dear price. My best friend Asuka and I were being groomed to play on the team together. I as keeper and she as chaser. She was breathtaking. She once corkscrewed through three players and scored before they even turned their heads. But as tryouts for the Tengu got closer, she panicked. I did not realize the extent of her panic until it was too late. She wanted so desperately for both of us to play together that she had slipped Felix Felicis into our tea before we were to show them our skills. What is Felix Felicis? A potion? Also known as Liquid Luck. And it is illegal in all wizarding sports. I knew within minutes that something was different. I had never played so well. And Asuka was playing more beautifully than I had ever seen. When I confronted her afterwards, she admitted what she had done. I withdrew from consideration immediately. But it wasn't your fault. You didn't know about the potion in the tea. 
It does not matter. My flying that day was not my own. I could not live with myself. So, I withdrew and explained to them why. I burned my broom in disgrace. What happened to Asuka? Did she burn her broom as well? Asuka played for the Tengu for two seasons. You didn't report her? Tell them what she'd done? Her fate was not mine to decide. My fate is in my hands, as your fate is in yours. Thank you, Professor. I shall remember what you've told me. This be Mr. Oaks's campsite. Rock's loyalists, just ahead. Should I take them by force or be discreet? Yeah. <laughs> 
since before you were born. Your acrobatics will only postpone the inevitable. Arrest them as Akio, not quite. Off of me. Arrest on the Akio. Adelaide said that her uncle kept notes of his trades, maps. Perhaps these landmarks will lead me to him. Mr. Roach's trade journal. Revelio. Arrest them, man. Expel the office. Good for you. Akio. Expelliarmus. Uh. 
Trio. Revelio. Lumos. Rebellion. Rebellion. Lumos. I should investigate. Brooks's trade journal. Rebellion. Accio. Expelliarmus. Rebellion. 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 I, read I was a proud man that day, and there's more of those days ahead. <laughs> Lower Hogsfield needs some stocks up there. Aha! I see you! Uh, Arresto uh, Momentum, uh, spell the uh, 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 Could bring a woman uh, uh, stole our goblin helm. Uh, well, their goblin helm, but then it was ours. Uh, 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 Expelliarmus, uh, 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 Confringo! Uh, uh, 
Arrest those momentum. Wait till Sebastian hears about this. An Ashwinder. Can bring her. Rebellion. Arrest the momentum. Oh, oh, you let Nora Treadwell go, didn't you? You're about to wish you hadn't. You shouldn't go about stealing goblin's helms stolen by the Everyone in Upper Hogsfield shudders when they see this and rightfully so. Arrest the momentum. Hang on! Huh? Press up, stop! 
Sharing my victory.
trying to make new wizard friends. Tell you this, Hogwarts is lucky they've got protection. What's that? Who's there? What do we have here? Higher up in the keep. Revelio. Trouble's brewing and I'm without my friends. Arrest the momentum. Expelliarmus. Ah, have yourself done. Ah. If you're there. Ah. I know you're here somewhere. A ladder. That's what I need. What was that? I feel as though I'm not alone. Arrest the momentum. Spell the armors. 
Arrest the momentum. Expelling us. Yeah. This is the spot on the map. That's not what it's about me. Such arrogance. Good for you. Yeah. find in here. Rebellion. Arrest those men. Expelliarmus. Yeah! 
Arrest the momentum. Send them. Arrest them. Rebellion. Arrest the momentum. Expel the officer. Ah. King Brindle. Descend up. Was that your best? Strokes. Yes, I'm here. They've taken my wand. This cell has an enchanted lock. I have experience with these locks, but I need my wand if I have any chance of opening it. Look for a boiler door. I've heard them speak of it. I need to find Mr. Rokes' wand. Where could it be? Rebellion. Boiler door. How to open it?
Send up. Expel the armors. Good free. Them. This door must need power from something. Looks as if there are pipes leading into it. Rebellion.
One way or another, we'll get what we're earned. <laughs> oh. Yes, legally lifted sign of the horns, medium dark skin tone.
Only follow it all.
Expelliarmus. Confringo. Ah! Arrest the momentum. Revelio. This must be Mr. Oaks's wand. Perhaps now he can set himself free. Rebellion. Alohomora.
Cossack team, hurry before they come. I must get out. Hurry. You did it! Oh, you found my wand and... Wait, you're a student? Oh, we must get you to safety immediately. It's dangerous. It's all right, Mr. Oaks. I've dealt with these goblins before. Dear Merlin, you're either very lucky or very talented. Well, how did you find me? I'm a friend of Adelaide's. She was worried about your business with Ranrock's loyalists. Oh, she was right to be. I couldn't go through with the agreement, and when I told them, I ended up blindfolded and behind bars. Been locked in that infernal cell for so long, they'd forgot I was even there. I overheard things. If only I could reward you for what you've done. Blasted goblins stole every canut on me. All I can say is thank you, truly. You mentioned you overheard things. <sighs> Sad tale, really. I think I know where Ramrock's unfortunate vendetta against Wizardkind began. Although dragon breeding was outlawed by the Warlocks Convention of 1709, Ranrock stumbled upon an illegal dragon camp. He was young, found the creatures fascinating. He'd visit the camp in secret whenever he could, never making his presence known. After weeks of sly surveillance, he finally summoned the courage to speak to the wizard in charge. Ranrock wanted to join them and the creatures. The wizard happened to drop his wand. Ranrock saw an opportunity. He picked it up, went to hand it back as a, a means of introducing himself. The sight of a goblin with a wand sent the wizard into an instant rage. He beat Ranrock nearly to death. Ever since, Ranrock has despised wizard kind, sees us all as cruel. Am I right that you speak gobbledygook? Unbeknownst to Ramrock's fiends, I do. I've always had an affinity for goblin culture. Knew I wanted to be a metal trader ever since I was a lad. It wasn't easy learning the language. It's, it's complex. And my memory's as weak as my knees these days. But after decades working with fine goblin folk, I grew fairly proficient. At least, I'd like to think so. I'm grateful I was able to help you, Mr. Oaks. Adelaide thinks the world of you. Oh, and I her. She's become quite savvy to my trading habits, always analyzing my detailed owls. Oh, if only I hadn't resorted to trading with such fiends. A lesson I shan't soon forget. Having my wand back is like being reunited with an old friend. I must return home and inform Adelaide of my safety. Will you be all right? I'll be fine, Mr. Oaks. You get back to Adelaide. I assure you, her worries outweigh yours. Oh, I'm anxious to see my dear niece. And then I plan to travel far from here for my next round of trading. Thank you. May life reward you justly for your deeds. Be well, my friend. Mr. Rokes was lucky. Ranrock's lot would never have freed him.
Revelia.
Rebellion. Off on another adventure, are we?
This could prove dangerous if I'm not careful. Hello, Hamora. Rebellion. Revelio. Perhaps I'll come back to this. another time.
Hogsmeade, here I come. yourself though let's have you leave here alive rebellion good for you getting all those foul gobbles hello oh hello Whew. sorry i'm in a bit of a tizzy i was just scolding some of the plants for spitting and nipping i suppose it's my own fault for putting more than four to a tray by the way beatrice green is the name but you may address me as madam green Welcome to Dogweed and Deathcap. Oh, uh, mind you don't knock the mandrakes. Oh, if there wasn't the constant demand for antidotes, I wouldn't need to stock so many of the little dears. Except, of course, for curses. And, well, if you've been petrified, then obviously you've come to the right place. <laughs> mind you don't knock the mandrakes. Oh, if there's an uprooting, you'll be the next one to drop dead, and I'm in no mood for a clear-up. Someone died here. Aye. Fortunate, really, that it was just the one. Now then, how may I help you today? I think I'll just have a look around for now. Very well. Let me know if you see anything you like. What do you have for sale? Well, what say we show you some of what's available? Oh, I'm always thrilled when a young one makes a wise purchase. I can tell you'll go far. Doors always open. You be sure to stop. Say we show you some of what's available. Doors always open. You be sure to stop by soon. Does it get any more cozy than Revelio? Come on in. Oh, not so fast. You need to tread carefully in here. <gasps> Venomous tentacula. You followed a wee butterfly to a grand treasure, eh? Doors always open. You be sure to stop by. Rebellion. Some...
Mind you, don't turn quick. Hello. Oh, welcome to Brood and Peck. I'm Ellie Peck. And before you ask, I'm out of a Braxton hair. The lot of it was bought up by a trader in Ottery St. Catchpole. Made me take it in person, they did. No care that I had to shut the shop. Apparently had a bad experience with someone shipping them hair for my wampus cat. Must have been someone from America, no doubt. Because we don't even have a Mia. Anyway, what are you here for? Moon car fur? Derrickal feathers? Always have trouble collecting them myself as the bird keeps disappearing. Cheeky thing. <laughs> Used to carry them in the shop, Derrickals. But people kept asking for their money back when they'd get home and the blasted things would be nowhere in sight. I can imagine that would be rather frustrating. There's worse. Trust me. Most of the suppliers of thwopper feathers may as well be living in St. Mungo's. Not surprising, I suppose. The cry in those things. Oh, but such marvellous feathers. <laughs> Almost worth going mad for. Sounds like stocking your shelves comes with some hazards. Truer words never spoken. Used to carry beasts themselves. Good business it was, but add it up to here with parents grumbling. Not my fault if the little ones caught a flea of an easel. Ooh, you should have heard them. No, <laughs> best with byproducts. And I do like to make sure the beasts are safe and well cared for. Couldn't guarantee that with some of these prospective owners. Now, why don't you have a good look around? Stocks change all the time, and not just because they disappear. Always best to pop in whenever you can to get things before they run out. <laughs> Which they used to literally do. <laughs> thank you, I will. Take all the time you need. And thank you for stopping by. A treat to have you here. What do you have for sale? Now, what sorts of beast byproducts might you be looking to acquire? I'll not mind seeing you here again. Consider yourself welcome. I don't mind selling things for certain clients. You know where to find me. I'll not mind seeing you here again. Consider yourself welcome. Rebellion. Sometimes it seems all roads lead to Hogsmeade. Uh, hope you're not here for a knotgrass sprig, cos I'm not entirely sure I have them in stock. Oh, I'm always thrilled when a young one makes a wise purchase. I can tell you'll go far. Yeah. 
Revelio. Rebellion. Revelio.
Production. I'll get that goblin help back. Only by rummaging your cause. Why don't you come and see us? It's like a place right out of a storybook. Didn't Clementine Willardsley ask you to follow those butterflies into the forbidden forest for her? Not the bravest person, that Clementine. Handy resource indeed, your field guide. I'm most pleased to be included.
It's been ages since I've found anything worth it. Nothing approaching our injury except spiders. Not worth the trouble if you ask me. Legs are far too brittle. I'm sure it'd be harder to kill a moon calf. <laughs> Abandoned long ago, no doubt. We can't even agree on something. Betting on the dragon fights was the best decision I've made. Rebellion.
Revelio. Meet, here I come. Fred Biscuit. I 
wish you saw something else. Rebellion. Rebellion. I'm told that lad. Oh, it's you. What a pleasant surprise. Let me guess, you're after something fresh. No one can say I don't keep a stack shelf. You've a good head for business, haven't you? No one can say I don't keep a stack shelf. Nice to see you, my young friend. Thank you. 
Rebellion. Rebellion. Lumos. Enchanted candles. Wonder where they're heading. The candles seem to be leading into the Forbidden Forest. The treasure must be nearby. I suppose a picnic is forbidden for Treasure hunting suits me. Does it get any more cozy than Hogsmeade? Welcome. Do let me know if I can be of any assistance at all. A 
wise decision. Thank you. I hope to see you again. Farewell for now. What can I do for you today? I hope to see you again. Farewell for now. Full of the mandrakes. I haven't fed them yet. Now, what sorts of beast byproducts might you be looking to acquire? I'll not mind seeing you here again. Consider yourself welcome. It seems all roads lead to Hogsmeade. Don't you fret, Biscuit. I shall sort something out. Come on in. Healing potions are a speciality here, should you need any. A wise decision. Thank you. I hope to see you again. Farewell for now.
dig things. You should be proud of all the potions you've brewed.
Lockheed. Rebellion. Things. You should be proud of all the potions you've brewed.
big thing. You should be proud of all the potions you've brewed. Rebellion. Owls fascinate me. They have a lot of responsibility in the wizarding world. Ah. Oi! Can you help me? Rebellion! Alohomora. Rebellion. Rebellion. Alohomora. Rebellion. Oi, can you help me? Alohomora.
Revelio. Why would I want to hear what you're good at? Why would anyone bother sending secret lovers? If I could have a moment of your time... Can I help you? I believe you can. I'm Sophronia, by the way. And I need help from someone who's at least a fifth year. Are you familiar with Herodiana Byrne? <laughs> Don't answer that. Of course you're not. No one seems to know of her but me. She's only the single greatest Depulso master of all time, even taught at Hogwarts, briefly. How interesting. I'm amazed I've never heard of her. It's a travesty she's not more well known. I often read about great witches in my limited free time. There are many. Whilst reading about her, I learned that she built a secret Depulso training room here at Hogwarts. But in typical clever Herodiana fashion, one cannot access it unless one knows De Pulso, which of course, third years aren't taught. And you're a third year, so... Quick one, aren't you? According to what I've read, her signature outfit may still be there. I would love to see it. Would you get Herodiana's signature outfit and show it to me? How did Herodiana Byrne become famous by casting De Pulso? She once saved orphans from a wild Grafhorn by banishing it over Stonehenge. That's on Salisbury Plain. She once banished a meddlesome dark wizard all the way to Durmstrang while she was in the Alps. That one may have been exaggerated, but lots of the stories about her certainly aren't. What ends up happening to Herodiana Byrne? In her later years, she taught at Hogwarts, but only for a short while. Just long enough to build a secret hall, it appears. Then one day, she just disappeared. Some say she actually banished herself. No one knows for sure. If you tell me where to go, I'll see what I can do about it. Simply go to the Hall of Herodiana. It's at the base of the Defense Against the Dark Arts Tower. There, you'll find a series of Depulso puzzles, concealing pieces of Herodiana's ensemble. Very well. I shall let you know if I find anything. I can't wait to see Herodiana's famous ensemble. That's on my self for copy. Suppose I should look for that secret hall Sophronia told me about. It does sound interesting. Spare a moment? I could use your help. Accio! Good for you! Revelio! R67 doing any live tours this year?
Rebellion. I wonder if you might be able to help me with a small... Uh... This must be the entrance to the Hall of Herodiana. Well, here it is. The Hall of Herodiana. Better go inside and find those puzzles. I have to see if Herodiana Burn was as good as Sophronia said she was. That wasn't too hard. Wonder what's next. Rebellion! i 
Velio. Akio. Akira. 
I think I'm getting the hang of this now. Just one left.
Fringo. Expelliarmus. Accio. The pulse. I see. The switch reset everything. Good to know. That's the last of them. Seems I was a man. And this must be the last piece of Herodiana's ensemble. It is remarkable. No wonder Sophronia wants to see this. Potions is dull and charms is dire. Nothing's as clever as play with fire. Uh. Rebellion. Sophronia, I solved all the puzzles in the Hall of Herodiana. Incredible! Then you found Herodiana's outfit. May I see it? Of course. Behold. Oh, how grand! You'll look as majestic as Herodiana herself, the greatest Depulso master of all time. You're my second favorite hero!
Hello there. Perhaps you can help me. Hello? Were you calling me? I was, yes. Thought you might be interested in joining me for a bit of an adventure. Following a treasure map, to be precise. Slight respite from battling the odd troll, I should think. Asked Poppy if she'd be interested as well, but couldn't drag her away from her puff skein. I found two maps lying about, both leading to locations around Hogwarts. Care to have a look at one? Following a Hogwarts treasure map. Count me in. Wonderful. Hogwarts fascinates me. You can keep whatever treasure lies at the end of your map. I'll be satisfied just knowing where it leads. Where do you suggest I search first? Hmm. Based on a cursory review of your map, I'd suggest somewhere near Hecate's classroom. Very well. I shall take a look if I can find the time. Fair enough. Meet me back here if you find anything. Rhinoceros skeleton. I'm on the right track.
There's the fountain. I'm getting closer. Akio. The Dedalian keys are back. Aren't they brilliant? Imagine there how was something else to travel was before. looks promising.
Have you ever flown over to no. This looks like the portrait from the map. And where's the treasure? Akio! Rebellion! Rebellion. <laughs> there was a doorway hidden within the portrait. I wonder what came of Arthur's search. Is everything all right? Yes, I'm sorry. I'm just... I'm Nelly, by the way. I'm just so excited that the Dedalian keys are back. The what keys? The Dedalian keys. Surely you've seen them flying about. Rumor is that a former headmistress, Professor Mong, conjured them to protect the contents of certain locked cabinets years ago. Professor Black couldn't be bothered to disenchant the keys, and they appear every few years. You should try to catch one. Why would I do that? Each key will lead you to a locked cabinet somewhere in the castle. If you can manage to get the key into the cabinet lock, not an easy task, you may find a reward. Why would Professor Mole conjure flying keys? What I heard is that it had something to do with keeping peeves out of things. But that may or may not be true. He's a poltergeist. I thought they could go almost anywhere. Surely you will be trying to complete the challenge as well. Ah, uh, I've tried, and I can't even get past the first cabinets. Perhaps you'll have better luck. I'd love to know what's in the cabinets. Perhaps I'll give it a go. I hope you do. In fact, I think I heard one of the keys in the astronomy tower. You should listen for them. I hope you follow a few keys at least. If you manage to open a cabinet, I'd love to know what you find, if anything.
doesn't matter. When we experience a sudden movement, just one thing about the wind. I caught her outside the boys' library singing a song with you. No, you didn't, did you? It was all true. Yes, yes, I did. Speech and wit. Lots of it. If I didn't, none. Anyone's listen. Oh, I like to see too. What have you learned? Hello, Arthur. Thought you might like to know that my map led to a doorway hidden within a portrait. Oh, how clever! Mine led to the boathouse. Barely found the treasure before I saw the headmaster coming. He shooed me out of there, but not before I got a few galleons richer. What did you find? I found what I believe is an authentic historian's uniform. Oh, that's lucky! Seems as though we both had success. Glad I enlisted you to join me. Well, on to the next Hogwarts mystery. Wonder if a quick rummage round Weasley's office might yield anything interesting. I've always said that travel broadens the mind. I tried that.
A Zedalian key. I wonder where it might lead me. What are you up to now? There's the cabinet. How do I get this key in there? Excellent. An old coin. Perhaps Nelly knows what it means. Handy resource indeed, your field guide. able to follow one of the Dedalian keys? Hello, Nelly. I managed to get a Dedalian key into its lock. Brilliant. What did you find in the cabinet? A curious token of some sort. Looks like some sort of house token. I bet it unlocks house chests. I call them house chests. I've seen the one in Gryffindor and heard they're also in the other common rooms as well. Keep an eye out. I do hope you continue on. For so much effort, the prize must be something grand. I should see this through and find the Slytherin house chest.
This must be my house. Seems I'll need to find more house tokens if I'm to open this. Quite a few by the look of it. Off on another adventure. Rebellion. Battalions and Victorian's uniform. It was brilliant solving those old treasure maps.
Revelio. Accio. I've always said that travel... Rebellion. Spare a moment? I could use your help. How nice to see you, my young friend. Surely those were curdle. Rebellion. 
Rebellion. Yes. Rebellion. 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 You can't imagine how inconvenient travel was before I invented flu powder. Rebellion.
What are you up to now? Rebellion. 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 Expelliarmus! Confringo! Revelio! Accio! Revelio! Rebellion.
Lumos, Expelliarmus. Protego, Leviosa. Handy resource indeed, your field guide. I'm most pleased to be included. Rebellion. I can sense someone close to you needs your help. Off on another adventure, are we?
Revelio. Alohomora. Rebellion. Revelio. I think it's for the best. Professor Black, I'm not sure you know
You can't imagine how inconvenient travel was before I invented flu powder. I don't like flying on a bridge. I prefer the... <laughs> Rebellio. Revelio.
Alohomora. Revelio. Rebellion. Rebellion. I never know what to say when I write some letters. Hello, Mother. Hello, Homora. Rebellion. Hello, Homora. Rebellion. 
Revelio. Alohomora. Rebellion. 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 Rebellion.
Revelio. Nice to see you, my young friend. Revelio. Revelio.
Rebellion. Now. Another house token for the house chest. That's it. I'm making good progress with those tokens. This Dedalian Keys challenge is coming along nicely. Another house token for the house chest.
Revelio. Off on another adventure, are we? Rebellion. Revelio. Rebellion.
You can't imagine how inconvenient travel was before I invented blue power. Rebellion. Rebellion.
Rebellion. Travel broadens the mind. Field guide. I'm most pleased to be included. Here we go. The last house token. Time to see what's inside. Well, look at that. Thanks goes to the former headmistress, Eupraxia Mole. able to follow one of the Dedalian keys? Hello, Nelly. Actually, I found all of the keys and opened my house chest. Oh, wonderful. What did you find? I found a rather interesting costume. Brilliant. Whew. Well, thank you for solving that mystery for me. I always wondered what those keys would lead to.
thinks you should be proud of all the potions you brewed. If it isn't the treasure, still can't believe you found that old uniform. <laughs> well done. Professor, do you have time to chat? I always have time for my students. How may I help you? I wondered if I might ask how long you've been teaching at Hogwarts. Well, it's been what now? <laughs> Seven swift years. Time does fly because we have fun. Essential in my opinion. An eager, positive and confident mind is the most open to knowledge, I find. Some of the professors may not agree with your approach. <laughs> well, each of us has our own style, I suppose. Some in the teaching field believe that hard work and dedication are the only keys to success. But they forget what drives those things. If one cannot fathom why some would expend energy on gobstones, then one is blind to the enormous power of play. And that's why you teach the way you do? Precisely. I strive to be the sort of professor that I would have enjoyed in school. My experience was less cheerful. Perhaps you wouldn't be who you are without that experience. Had I received a more traditional education? Well, enough about my student days. You are here now, and it would be a shame if you didn't enjoy it. I'll do my best, Professor. Thank you for the advice. You are most welcome. <laughs> Try to have a bit of fun today. Huh? What are you up to now? I could wander the greenhouses for hours. <laughs> Galleons and a historian's uniform. It was. I wonder if you might be able to help me with a small, uh... You wanted to speak with me? I did. Hello, I'm Duncan Hobhouse. Pleasure to meet you. I've heard all about you, of course. Confronting trolls and dragons. That's nice to hear. I have had my share of adventure. I hope my reputation's warranted. 
I'm going to presume your reputation is in fact warranted. In which case, you are precisely the person I need. You see, we were learning to repel boggarts in Professor Hecate's class, and, well, mine unfortunately took the shape of a... a puff scheme. They're adorable. Why would you be afraid of a puff scheme? They seem adorable until one sticks its tongue up your nose. Regardless of how reasonable I believe my fear of puff schemes to be, I'm beginning to get a reputation as a coward. Some have even taken to calling me Puff Skeen Dunkeen. I'm sorry to hear that. Words can be cruel. Thank you. Poppy keeps offering to help me in overcoming my fear, but I'm too afraid to take her up on it. Anyway, to make matters worse, I stupidly blurted out that I must be braver than people think, since I have been in the Hidden Herbology Corridor. The Hidden Herbology Corridor? Yes. Rumor has it that the Herbology Professor before Professor Garlic kept dangerous plants there. It's supposedly so overrun now that no one dares enter it anymore. I was hoping you could go there and bring back evidence that I could use to show that, well, I'd gone in. Say a bit of an exceptionally dangerous plant of some kind. What sort of plants should I expect in the Hidden Herbology Corridor? I haven't a clue. But have you seen the kinds of plants Professor Garlic grows? If the previous professor was anything like her, I'd imagine they're not exactly harmless. Very well. If I'm in the area, perhaps I shall take a look. Grand. I'd very much appreciate it. Come and find me if you get the proof. I shall be forever in your debt. Hmm. Hidden Herbology Corridor. Sounds intriguing. Likely this astronomy tape. These dry vines are one spark away from becoming kindling. Expelliarmus! Confringo! This must be the entrance to the hidden herbology corridor. Devil's snare seems to thrive in darkness. Perhaps it doesn't care for light. Rebellion. Lumos. Oh. 
Rebellio. Lumos. Rebellion. Can bring up. Rebellion. Seems the Devil's Snare was protecting a chest of some kind. Lumos. Lumos. Rebellion. Good bring them. Lumos. I imagine a piece of that enormous venomous tentacular would be enough for Duncan to prove his bravery. Expelliant. Lumos. Confringo. Lumos. Confringo. Rebellion. Accium. Confringo. Rebellion. Have you found anything to, uh, prove my- Hello, Duncan. I have the proof you wanted. That's one leaf. Must have been a giant venomous tentacular. It's even more than I expected. I knew you were the one to ask. 
I appreciate you getting it for me. Now that I think about it, Puff Scheme Dunkeen, I think I shall keep this. You need to overcome your cowardice. You can't be serious. <gasps> this is awful. I don't know what to do now. I'm doing you a favor. Disappointment like this will encourage you to become a stronger person. I don't need to be stronger. I need to be left alone. Even Zenobia Noak will make fun of me now. You've wasted my time. You're not who I thought you were. Should never have trusted you.
You should be proud of all the potions you've brewed. I'd like to ask you about changing the room's ambience. Of course. Uh, what sort of overall look most appeals to you? Actually, perhaps another time. Off on another adventure, are we? Professor, do you have a moment? I do. A 
Apologies, Professor. Perhaps later. Suit yourself. Clearly has no interest in his. Rebellion. Galleons <laughs> and a historian's uniform. Forget what that awful puff girl said in 1421. What? Rebellion. Stone. Oh, that's class, that is.
Revelio. No need to be diff... Do cooperate, won't you? Rebellion. 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 They know the lies and falsehoods. No one's mightier and Rockwoods. What's that? Hit it all.
wizard kind will submit to us once the war is over. Pick up from Lee's stream. Respect, respect, respect.
arrest all the men. There you are. That's the student who released Owen. Good for you. It's fairly off. You won't get him. Ooh, this shit take them. On patrol. Frank Owen! Who is it? Yeah. Ah. Ah. It's almost too easy! Get away! 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 Get
I've always said that travel broadens the mind. Wonderful to see you again. I've completed my assignments, Professor. Pleased to hear it. Professor Weasley will be too. I'll be sure to let her know how well you're coming along. Thank you, Professor. Professor Hecate tells me she taught you Levioso, so you should be ready for a more advanced levitation charm. Wingardium Leviosa requires a bit of concentration and a nice graceful wand movement. Let's see you try your hand at it. When executed correctly, you should be able to pick up boulders as though they were sprigs of sneezewort. to practice Wingardium Leviosa here in the greenhouse. I've set some crates up. You're a natural.
Handy resource indeed, your field guide. Pleased to be included. Not sure how I'd fare in a little place like this.
someone messing about. Why do I always end up on patrol duty? Precious little guardian. Stole the goblin hell. Had enough yet? Seems your luck has run out. You're not going to like this.
Belly eats for the Descend. Coaching days are over. Need, here I come. Oh, my Hello, be with you in a bit. Let me guess, you're after something fresh.
I'm told that last Clementine had you chasing butterflies all through the forest. She's quite a one, that girl. Now, you let me know if there's anything else I can help you with. No one can say I don't keep a stack shelf. Things. You should be proud of all the potions you've brewed. Rebellion.
Oh dear, Deke thinks perhaps you didn't know Deke was near. Deke thinks you should be proud of all the potions you've brewed. Does it get any more cozy than Hogsmeade? What will I do without her? Greetings! Please, take your time looking about. Now, you let me know if there's anything else I can help you with. Now, you let me know if there's anything else I can help you with. No one can say I don't keep a stack shelf.
on in, come on in. Oh, not so fast. You need to tread carefully in here. <gasps> Venomous tentacula. Doors always open. You be sure to stop by. Things. You should be proud of all the potions you've brewed. Sometimes it seems all roads lead to Hogsmeade. Don't you fret, Biscuit. I shall sort something out. I'm told that last club. Oh, it's you! What a pleasant surprise. No one can say I don't keep a stack shelf. Hello there, come on in. Plenty to look at here.
Let me know if there's anything else I can do to help. Meet, here I come. Oh, my dear biscuit. We have everything a young student might need when it comes to potions. Have a good look around. Hope to see you again. Farewell for now. you brood. Revelio. Revelio.
Rebellion.
mistake thinks you should be proud of all the potions you've brewed. Revelio. things you should be proud of.
Does it get any more cosy than Hogsmeade? Revelio. Rebellion. Rebellion. What will I do without her? Hello? Is something the matter? Most decidedly, yes. My precious mooncalf, Biscuit, was abducted by poachers up north. Oh, the vicious brutes. But I tried to fight back, but I was no match for them. I'm sorry about your mooncalf, Mr... Garnuff. Just Garnuff. I'm only one goblin. Not a particularly brave one at that. I have no chance against a pack of bloodthirsty poachers. Oh, my poor Biscuit. I can only hope she's able to escape. A moon calf is an unusual pet. Why did you choose Biscuit? She followed me one evening and wouldn't leave my side. Never thought I was one for a pet of any kind. But now I can't imagine life without her. Moon calves are often thought of as silly, simple minded creatures. But I've seen great depth of character in Biscuit. I wouldn't trade her for a hippogriff or a hippopotamus, or even a goose that lays golden eggs. Why do you suppose the poachers took Biscuit? I have no idea. Mooncalf dung's highly valuable for fertilizing magical plants. But I cannot imagine poachers care much about gardening. Who knows what they'll do to her? She could be flog-skinned, Gutted and stuffed, I assume. Oh, Biscuit. I'll keep an eye out for your moon calf, Garnif. Oh, how kind. If only all of Wizardkind was as gracious to goblins. If you do see her and can bring her safely home to me, I promise to reward you for your efforts. Do keep an eye out for her, and be careful out there. Poachers are an unscrupulous lot. I should try and rescue Garnish's mooncalf. Sounds as if I'd need to head north to find those poachers. 
Rebellion. Sometimes it seems all roads lead to Hogsmeade. If it thinks it's got half a chance. Rebellion. Hogsmeade, here I come. Hope you're not here for a knot grass, Frigg, because I've got 
entirely sure I have them in stock. Oh, I'm always thrilled when a young one makes a wise purchase. I can tell you'll go far. Doors always open. You be sure to stop by soon. Well, what say we show you some of what's available? But your things will be safe with me until they're sold. Then you'll have to make do with money. Always open. Rebellion. You be sure to stop by soon. Good for you. Gain all those foul goblins are hiding. You're back! Nice to see you again. Revelio. What are we looking for today? Thanks for stopping by. Hope to see you again. Let me know if there's something in particular you're looking for. Revelio. Let's look at what we have, shall we? A pleasure doing business with you. Let me know if there's anything else I can do to help. Rebellion. Does it get any more cozy than Hogsmeade? Revelio.
He'll see it was a mistake parting ways with me. Sir, is everything all right? How kind of you to ask. The name's Ackley Barnes. And no, it is not. I'm plotting a sort of revenge against my ex-business partner, a conniving fiend by the name of Alfred Lawley. He cut me out of our herbology supply business, just as we were getting started. Hm. Said I was too volatile to work with. I'll show him volatile. That must have been frustrating for you. Yes, yes it was. Terribly. I'm simply passionate about my work. Supercilious fool. He's passionate about things too. As I intend to remind him by relieving him of his prized possession. A venomous tentacular he's grown from a seedling that was to be the keystone of our business venture. I can't get anywhere near it with Ruth Singer watching me like an augury. Lawley's doing, no doubt. But no one would suspect a student. Hmm. How would you feel about committing some grand plant larceny? You said Mr. Lawley was your ex-business partner. What were you working on? I had an idea to train Venomous Tentacular, create guard plants, if you will, that attacked when ordered. We hit a snag when one ate Lawley's kneesel. After that, he cut me out of the business, the short-sighted fiend. Why do you need Mr. Lawley's Venomous Tentacular in particular? Simple. If I have it, then Lawley doesn't. Ergo, I can launch my business, and he must start all over again. I'm killing two snidgets with one stone. What else is in Mr. Lawley's cellar? All of Lawley's herbology supplies. He has quite the collection. Fill your pockets while you're there. Or to slow him down for a bit. And I can get my business going minus any competition. I'll get the venomous tentacular for you. Marvelous. I know a fellow seeker of justice when I see one. Take as many herbology supplies as you like while you're in his cellar. All I ask is that you bring me the venomous tentacular. Remember, I just need that venomous tentacular. It seems I need to find Mr. Lawley's cellar. This must be it. This must be the cellar. How to find that venomous tentacular? Better not let Mr. Lawley see me.
Alohomora. Rebellion. Now that I have the venomous tentacular, I should return to Mr. Barnes. Revelio. Expelliarmus! Confirm them! Revelio. Completed that errand for me yet? Hello, Mr. Barnes. I have that venomous tentacular. <laughs> Wish I could see Lawley's face when he realizes his prized possession is gone. We'll see who's volatile now. Well done. I'll take it off your hands now. It wasn't as easy to come by as I had expected. I'd like to be paid for my troubles. <sighs> Only fair, I suppose. I can respect your business acumen. Here's a little something for your next trip to Zonko's. Thank you again for your help. I suspect you have a bright future.
bread biscuit. I shall sort something. Welcome. Come on in. Now, where was I? Right. Oh, yes. <laughs> No one can say I don't keep a stacked shelf. No one can say I don't keep a stacked shelf. Sometimes it seems all roads lead to Hogsmeade. Have a look around. I'll be with you in just a minute. open you be sure you can't imagine how inconvenient travel was before I invented food. I was wondering when I'd see you again. Let's look at what we have, shall we? Nothing like finding just the right thing, is there? Let me know if there's anything else I can do to help. Rebellion.
Dick thinks you should be proud of all the potions you've brewed. Nice to see you, my young friend. Thank you for all that you've done for us. Thank you for passing through. What are you up to now? Rebellion. Are you in some sort of trouble? Nearly attacked by wolves, I was. Only just escaped with my life. I need to be better prepared next time. Could use some thunder brew. I don't suppose a student like yourself would be in possession of such a thing? I'm afraid not. I'd help you if I could, but I don't actually have anything with me. Well, that is unfortunate. I was hoping you'd be better prepared. Not a charitable bone in their body. Still looking for that thunder brew? No, I... Wait, did you find some? You should be able to take care of yourself. I'm not giving you anything. How cruel! Calling me a liar! I 
I don't need the help of someone so rude. Better hope the wolves don't get you. You won't receive a drop of help. Careful, man. Hello. Do you have anything for sale? That I do. But uh, what's a student like yourself doing out here? Got yourself lost, did you? Just exploring the countryside a bit. Hi. <laughs> nice to break the routine now and then. Bit of a wanderer myself, in fact. The name's Leopold Babcock, and I am indeed here to sell. <laughs> now. For someone like yourself who is also prone to wander, I cannot understate the importance of keeping some Wiganweld potion on hand. I wouldn't dare set foot in a place like the Forbidden Forest without a steady supply. What do you say, my young friend? A measure of safety for the path ahead? Something to consider. Thank you for your help, Mr. Babcock. Aye, let me know if you see something you like. What do you have for sale? See if there's something you need. That's been a pleasure. I know what that means. Merlin trial. I have a brother who works at Gringo. Couldn't take me enough to sit behind a desk all day. Rebellion. Poachers. Garnif was right then. I'd better be careful. Good friend. Defensive maneuver was it? Incendio! 
quite beautiful. It's shameful what you've done to helpless beasts. Alohomora. Now then, which one of you is Biscuit? Rebellion. Confringo! Huh. Rebellion! Rebellion. I'm only trying to help. All right, let's get. Let's get you back to Garnif, shall we?
It's like a place right out of a storybook. Hogsmeade, here I come. Goneth, I've rescued Biscuit. You have? Oh, is she hurt? Was she frightened? Are you all right? Biscuit is fine, as am I. I was able to rescue her without much incident. Oh, mercy. Where poachers are concerned, I tend to expect the worst. I cannot wait to get her home. I so miss seeing her dance in the evenings. Such joy. You can have her back for the right price. I... of course. I would pay any amount for the safety of my dear Biscuit. Oh, my sweet little Biscuit. My wise, noble Mooncalf. And here is your reward, of course. Well deserved. As I said before, you have restored my faith in wizard kind. You've restored at least a modicum of my faith in wizard kind. Biscuit and I can't thank you enough. Does it get any more cozy than Hogsmeade? Come on in, come on in. Oh, not so fast. You need to tread carefully in here. <gasps> Venomous tentacula. Oh, I'm always... 
always thrilled when a young one makes a wise purchase. I can tell you'll go far. Doors always open. You be sure to stop by soon. Things. You should be proud of all the potions you've brewed. Revelio. Thinks you should be proud of all the potions you've brewed.
I'd like to ask you about changing the room's ambience. Of course. Uh, what sort of overall look most appeals to you? I'd like the room to feel natural and earthy as though I'm outdoors. Oh, sounds perfect. Thinks you should be proud of all the potions you've brewed.
all the potions you've brewed. Things. You should be proud of all the potions you've brewed. Valio.
should be proud of all the potions you've brewed. Rebellion. Dick thinks you should be proud of all the potions you've brewed.
Sometimes it seems all roads lead to Hogsmeade. Rebellion! Alohomora! with you in a bit. No one can say I don't keep a stacked shelf. Rebellion. Rebellion. Good freedom. Expelliant. Meet, here I come. You can't imagine how inconvenient travel was before. Rebellion.
Revelio.